Is Carl okay? Carl better be okay. Find out this month on D and D minus. Just, should we just leave? You could just w- turn around and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> leave Carl and Sammy. <laughs> I am not leaving Carl the Pug of Pegacorn. Carl I got Sammy. a one. I got a four. I got Very a five. Right. <laughs> I While God's stalling, I eat some more bread. Yeah, no, by all means. I'm having a Thin Mint. A Girl Scout cookie Thin Mint? Yeah. Nice. You actually found some? Oh, yeah. We found a local troop. They were willing to do like a porch drop off. Eli went out and did it. It was great. All right. First up is Bridget. You've got two large greenish gelatinous cubes. One has Carl inside. One has Sammy inside. Phenomenal. If I had to guess, if I had to guess, these are probably weak to magic. Why would why would you guess that? Because it's all based on Final Fantasy stuff. Is it? Pretty. I mean, it's all very similar across fantasy. Sure. I I I know that the the lightning, water, like fire, shit isn't the same. Are there gelatinous cubes in a lot of Final Fantasy? Oh God, yeah. Yeah, there are. Oh, for sure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And they're susceptible to magic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It's not what Pokemon. Yeah, it's not Pokemon. You're right. <laughs> Are there gelatinous okay. cubes in Pokemon? <laughs> All right, I'm going to. Yes, there are. Ditto is basically the gelatinous cube. Anyway, uh, I would like to sacred flame um, one of their asses. Uh, which one? Um, you know, the one with Carl in it. Obviously. The one with Carl in it because he's a pug. <laughs> okay, so uh, read that for everyone, just because I think this is the first time you've actually done this to a creature that isn't Dave. Uh, sacred flame. <laughs> I, <laughs> I did it to the mimic. I did it to the mimic. First time. Thank you very him. much. Also, I only slap Dave and elbow him with unarmed combat because that only does D4 damage. Anyway, so basically, uh, the the gelatinous cube has to. Hey, what level am I? Because it matters. Level three. Three? Mm-hmm. Falls. Okay. Uh, the gelatinous cube has to make a dexterity saving throw um, to beat a 13. If it can't beat that, then it takes 1D8 radiant damage. All right, let me roll for this gelatinous cube. As will surprise nobody, they are not particularly dexterous. 14? Yeah, that actually beats it, so nothing happens. He rolled a fucking 18. Oh, fuck that guy. So this cube does a cartwheel with Carl inside. Oh, God. To the side, and your sacred flame lands right where it was. All right, then I am going to cast yeah I'm gonna burn a spell slot on this I'm gonna cast where's sanctuary sanctuary on um snedrick so you ward a creature within range against attack until the spell ends any creature who targets the warded creature snedrick with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw on a failed save that creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell damn yeah so I'm going to Fuck cast yeah. that as a bonus action on Snedrick. Nice. And you're casting it at first level, right? Yep. It, it, there's only a first level version. Yes. Great. Bingo. All right. And that's a bonus action? That's a bonus action. Wow. Jeez. That's a nice fucking bonus Clerics action. All are right. a bit OP. I'm not going to lie. All right. Yeah. All right. So next up is Gelatinous Cube. The gelatinous cube with Carl is going to ooze over towards you, Bridget, and a pseudopod made of pure goo pulls out of the cube and tries to slap down on you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. For how much? That is an 11. That does not hit. Does not hit. Slaps down next to you. I flip it off. All right. Claw, you're up then. Go ahead. Okay. 
quick question. This I'm looking at it, but I just want to make sure this fist of the elements is mm-hmm. not a key char- uh, key point thing, right? No, you can use your action to activate it. Okay. Oh, so I would have to activate it and then next turn use it. Correct. Then I will just attack. Nice. Well, I have a I have a better question. If I do an unarmed strike, can I do some sort of bonus action to try and pull Sammy from the second one? Yes, you can. A creature within five feet of the cube can take an action to pull a creature or object out of the cube. Doing so requires a successful DC 12 strength check, and the creature making the attempt takes 3d6 acid damage. So you can do it, but it's going to hurt, and you got to pass a strength check. Let's just do the unarmed strikes. Yeah, fuck, Thanks, Sammy. All right. Nice. Because <laughs> I'll probably get 18 damage. Is Sammy an adorable pug like creature? I don't think so. Don't no, but she could it. fight. Yes, she can. But. So can Carl. Can he? Can Carl fight? Yeah. Hell yeah. He's super scrappy. <laughs> He's got a horn. So what just he uses it for. So you're you're attacking the one that Sammy uh that is in, enveloping Sammy, right? Not yeah. Carl? Yeah, let's do the Sammy one. Go for it. So Roll two D twenties. Yes. Uh ooh. Uh, an eighteen and a one. Uh, that that's that, nineteen. No, no, no. I think I <laughs> would want to miss with one. Yeah. So you're definitely going to hit with that first one, and definitely going to miss with the second one. Roll a one d four for me. Two. All right. Plus three, so it's going to do five damage. And because you rolled a critical miss on that second tr- strike, you smash your fist into this cube, right? But then. When you smash your other fist into the cube for your second strike, you actually slide inside the cube with Sammy, and you are now engulfed inside the cube. <laughs> nice. It was kind of funny how that happened. I kiss Sammy on the cheek. <laughs> yeah, very luckily you cannot do that. <laughs> for I everybody. Have a I have a beak, right? <laughs> nope. Oh. I don't know what that has to do with anything. <laughs> All right, Dave, you're up next. I would like to cast Suggestion on the one that has Carl inside. I do not believe that the gelatinous cubes can un- hear and understand you. And you need a creature that... Yeah, creatures that can't be charmed are immune to this effect, and gelatinous cubes are immune to this effect. I don't believe that's correct. I heard from Final Fantasy that this is, these are very susceptible <laughs> to magic. I think you just made that up. You could also attack it. Why don't you attack it? I don't, I don't want to with your it. magic, which it's susceptible to. Wait, so it is susceptible, or it's not susceptible? It's susceptible it, to it attack. It doesn't have spells. a brain, so you can't really like yeah. control it. Ask it to do stuff. It's susceptible to attack spells, probably one element in particular, but we don't know which element. Okay, I would like to use the awesome bread that I have to to tempt the one that has Carl inside to l- jump. Out, you know, out from around Carl and grab the bread that I I offer it. You does not work. Fired, you're fired. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, does not work. It's an ooze cube. It can't be tempted. It's not a it's not a sentient creature in the same way. It doesn't ever eat. It's eating Carl. Oh, it does. It just like it engulfs. <laughs> it's it's, it's currently engulfing something. So this this tempta- the bread temptation is not going to work. You could give the bread to Carl. As in, as like a hang in there, buddy kind of thing. Okay, so first thing I do is give the bread to Carl. Second thing I do is, whoa, uh, uh, uh. do you want to get within five feet of the gelatinous cube? I no, I throw it into Carl. So you throw the bread at the cube that Carl is inside. I throw That's it so action? I throw it so well that it goes right in next to Carl's mouth. This is not my action. One hundred percent your action. No, 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 no. This is my no. no this is my pre action. Nope. You only get one action. This is practice. If, if you want to throw some cloud bread at the gelatinous cube, you can, but that's going to be your action. God damn it. I will Eldritch Blast the thing that has Carl in it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I would have gone with the Fucking bread. Fucking but... <laughs> thank you. We found it. But hey, here's the cool part. Everything that everyone else just heard was, Heath, it's your turn. <laughs> I will Eldritch Blast the one that has Carl in it. So think about it that way. 
deft is how it happened in, in their world. So I, I consider using suggestion and I'm like, no, 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 that won't work because this thing isn't sentient. <laughs> then I try to trick it with bread. No, no, Rubbiness no, chin. I won't do that either. I will Eldritch Blast it because I know exactly how these creatures work. It'll just be a blast. <laughs> Everybody's running around. An Eldritch he's, Blast. He's tapping yeah. his foot. Roll that uh, d20 for me. 16. All right. Plus my spell modifier is plus three or no, plus five. 20 plus five. So that's 21. 21. That's going to hit. Yeah, there's no way that's not going to hit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that'll hit. Woohoo. Uh, roll that d10 for me. 10. Mm-hmm. Got it. I know these ones are tricky for you. It's the one with a zero on it. Shut up. <laughs> so that's 10 damage. Oh, yeah. You take a good chunk of goo out of this thing. Nice. Uh, Bonus right, action. Nice. Is... I would like to magic stone. <laughs> so I pick up three handfuls. Can't pick up of... the stones. That's yes. your action. No, no, no. That's magic stone. The... This is, this you got to be holding the stones. No, it's a cantrip. And as part, I've, I did this in a different episode, a different I time know, in our lives. I know, people yelled at me because you were supposed to use your action to pick up the snow and make a snowball. No, 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 no. The, the, the description says I touch one to three things and I imbue them with magic. Like that's part of the fact that I'm doing this oh, bonus action spell. Oh, you're not picking them up. You're just touching them. You're just touching them. All you have to do is touch them to imbue them, and that's part of the description of the spell, which is a bonus All action. All right. Hit those. Go ahead. Do it. I did it. All right. And you have imbued. What, I, what I touch is three little pieces of the ooze, and I turn those into my magic Don't stones. Don't touch the ooze. No, it says you touch one to three pebbles. You I can't do, do it with the, the largest. There's very large pebbles around, and that's what I do. All right. You've, there are three magically imbued pebbles at Really your feet. big ones. N note it. <laughs> Dear God. And they are floating oh. and ready to d be used by anybody who wants to use them. Fantastic. Oh, All right. Uh, I if swapped out my spells. I don't have the one I can th that I threw those snowballs with before. So <laughs> for, for whatever that's worth. Um. All right. The cube that contains Sammy and Claw is going to do 6d6 acid damage to both of them. Dear so 6d6. 6d6. Yep. So take well, 18, 18 damage. So you're down to six hit points. Fuck. And now it's going to slither over to Bridget as well. And it's going to try and smack you with a gooey pseudopod. Oh, it's got two well. actions. Fun. Yeah. It's, it, so the damage happens at oh, the beginning of God. its turn. Right, right, right. It doesn't use cool, it for its action. That makes sense. Uh, 16? Nope. Doesn't hit. Ooh, all right, so slaps down next to you. I flip it all off right. also. What's your armor class? 17. Jesus Christ. What? Snedrick, you are up. All right, so remind me, Bridget, what you cast on me. Yeah, so the word, it's basically a protection. It's like a shield. So if anything tries to attack you with armed or, or magical spell, they basically have to either, like, they have to roll to be able to get it. They have to do a wisdom saving throw in order to be able to hit you. Okay. All right. Cool. I was, I, I, I because I was going to pull, so I was going to try to pull claw out, but I wanted to ask Eli, if I do that, the attack, the, the, like the acid splash back or whatever that I get from that, would that be affected by the protection um, spell? That the spell doesn't protect the warded creature from area effects. So this sounds okay. like an area effect. If you're within five feet, you can, you're can you in like the splash zone and you're not supposed mm -hmm. to be in the splash zone. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Well then, sorry, Cla, I ain't going to do no that worries. shit. No um, sorry. And remind me, one of these, the one with Carl in it has been successfully hit, correct? And the other one yes. has not? They've both been successfully hit. But the one with Carl has a large chunk. Yeah. Wait. Okay. When Cla punched the other one, did he, on impact, did he get absorbed? It was his critical miss yeah. that mm. that got him absorbed. I only did like five. Wait, damage. it was a critical miss. It was a one. Yeah, yeah. yeah he one. rolled a one on his second attack. Okay, that makes sense. All right. The other one is more hurt though, right? The one with Carl in it. Yeah, it took it took seven damage. You're supposed to five, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. I'm going to use my poison spray attack on the one that has Carl in it. Fuck yeah. Okay, poison spray attack. 
Uh, you extend your hand towards a creature you can see within range and project a puff of noxious gas from your palm. The creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 poison damage. All right. Constitution saving throw. And what, what does he have to roll? 13. He rolls a 13, so he makes that saving throw. So you, you blow some poisonous smoke in that cube's face, but it just sort of wiggles back and forth, and the, the poisonous spray just dispels over its gelatinous outside. All right, but for the record, I'd have done 15 fucking damage to you if you hadn't wiggled. Uh, That's true. All right. Bridget, you are up next. Okie dokie. All right, I'm going to see how it does with physical damage. I'm going to, I don't want to touch it with my Warhammer for fear that it'll, you know, absorb it. But I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, how far away am I from it, by the way? You're right in I'm front right of them. In front they of, both oh, just you know tried I'm to hit you. I'm not going to yeah. use my crossbow. I am going to use my Warhammer. I'm going to go ahead and just like bop that shit on the head. You're going to bop that shit on the head. That's All right. no good. That's a seven. That, does that hit? What was it? Seven. All together. Yeah, that hits. It does. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Excellent. Then it's going to take uh, six damage. Six damage. All right. You great Boom. shite. You slam into this thing with your Warhammer. Another fat chunk of ooze splashes out of its body onto the ground. Get rid of All that right. fucking pug. Uh, that was the one with the pug inside, right? Yeah, that was the one with the pug inside. It attacked me first, in all fairness. So, like... It is that cube's turn. Dave, you watch as there's a boiling, rippling inside the creature's body. <gasps> and Carl the Pug of Pegacorn dissolves. How dare you? <gasps> no! I, he, I have a pact of a chain... That's nonsense. <laughs> So now that it's free, it's going to try and engulf you, Bridget. Of so it is. It, Carl is gone, so it's going to try and engulf you. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw for me. Oh, fuck me. I can't wait to find out what else lives in this tub. Okay, that's a uh, 16. Yeah, it tries to engulf you, but you just, you power through like a linebacker and just end up gasping out oh, the other side. Oh, oh, would you say I'm playing toe jam football? <laughs> <laughs> She's so oh, excited. This all came together so well. I was trying to make, I was trying to figure out how to do a football reference this entire time ever since I heard Toe Jam. Okay, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> all right, Claw, you are up. Um, uh you are now currently trapped inside. Yeah. Uh that limits your activate, options. Can I activate the tattoo? <laughs> oh. You should probably use your action. I'm just going to tell you, okay. as your friendly DM, you should probably try to use your action to escape the cube. Right. That's what I was wondering, is if like the tattoo will somehow, I don't know. Nope. Okay, cool. What does the tattoo do? It's like an elemental one. Oh. So it's yeah. got like four different elements. Activate. Yeah. But you you have one element that you're going to choose. Right. Uh, okay, so just a d20 for escape? Roll that d20 for me. This What's is a strength check. 13 plus one. You made it. You Ooh. kick your way out of the back of the cube and land next to Bridget behind it. All right, Dave, you are up now. All right, I would like to shoot the Scorching Ray. And um, uh, it creates three rays, so I'm going to shoot them at, you know, two at one guy and one at the other. All right. Which, uh, which one gets two and which one gets one? Which one is damaged more? From what you can tell, the one that had Carl in it is damaged more because it's had the most slime knocked out of it, but it's hard to tell because they're big cubes of jelly. It seems pretty obvious to tell. I'm going to shoot the one ray at the one who's damaged more and the two rays at the one who's damaged less. Nice. Oh. Right. So, uh, read that spell description for me. I create three rays of fire and hurl them at targets within range. I can hurl them at one target or several. I've described how I'm doing that. Make a ranged spell attack for each ray. On a hit, the target takes 2d6 fire damage. Ooh, fantastic. All right, roll 3d20 for me. Three in a row? Yes, indeedy. Got it. 16... Plus 20. five is 21. Natural 20. <gasps> and 13. 
13. So those all hit. Kind of critical. So the first one is going to uh, the one that had Carl. Yeah. Yep. So roll two D6s for me. All right. That's a four and a six. Ten damage. All right. Big chunk of ooze burns away from that bad boy. Uh, and then you're doing 12 damage because you got a critical success. You're doing 12 damage and your scorching ray, as it buries its way into the cube holding Sammy, the ray pushes her out. So you're going to do 12 and then roll another 2d6 for me. All right. Three and two. All right. That's five more. Yep. And a big chunk of jelly comes out of this one as well. How are the two looking? They've definitely taken some damage. There are big chunks missing from them, but they seem ready to fight. How much life does each one have in units? <laughs> what, are they, what are they called specifically? Yeah, exactly. Let me look them up yep. on Wikipedia. Uh, all right, so it is the gelatinous cubes turn next. Uh, Dave, it's going to take a swing at you because you have denied it its dinner. I'm pretty far away. Uh, it's going to sklorp over to you. Sklorp? Oh, that's yep. a technical term. That's a really yep. slow that's... verb, just so everybody knows. <laughs> it is It is going to sklorp over to you. I mean, it's it's got a regular speed. It, it's got a speed of 15 feet. It can make it to you. Uh, 15 feet distance. And it rolls distance. an 11. <laughs> My speed is 25 feet, though, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine is yeah. 25 feet, too. <laughs> How many parsecs? <laughs> <laughs> that's an 11. Does that hit? What's your armor class, Dave? My armor class is 12. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Is it actually twelve? Or are you just saying that? <laughs> it is. Ian, I was actually. I was actually just saying it, but it I is do? twelve. I just checked. <laughs> okay. Fantastic, everybody. So yeah, it tries to slap down a pseudopod next to you, uh, and it fails because the chunks you've taken out of it have sort of thrown off its balance. And Snedrick, you are up. All right. I know that this is a little bit of overkill, probably at this point, but I'm gonna scream. You killed Carl! <laughs> and I'm going to pull out the uh, the wand, the wand of seven parts, and I'm going to cast Thunder Wave with it, uh, which will attack oh. both of the creatures. Um, they attack us too, right? You guys are getting Thunder Waved. Oh, do I? Do, when I Thunder yeah. Wave, does it, does it attack you guys too? Uh, I'm pretty, I have it too. Let me look. Because um, if it does, I mean, then that's a useless yeah. ass fucking. Oh no! <laughs> no, no, honestly, wait, I no, would it go doesn't. Ahead and it looks do it. like it sweeps out from you. Um, Each creature in a fifteen foot cube, -foot originating cube. from you, has to make a Constitution saving throw. Well, how close are we to him? Um, you're definitely within a fifteen foot cube because I would do the. It. One of them the sclorped two, out of that fifteen foot cube over to me. Yeah, one sclorped out of the cube over to over to Dave, and then the both Bridget and Claw are behind the first cube, the one that contained uh -huh. Carl. So you're definitely going to catch them in this spell if you use it. Um, yeah, I'll do the poison spray again, I guess. Poison spray. All right, and I'll do it at the one. I'll still yell. The it's weird Carl that poison thing, but... spray is not dangerous to the other people in this small cave. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Is. Yeah, you'd think it would. Uh, all right, Constitution saving throw of thirteen. All right, that is a. Oh, it does not save. Roll that d twelve for me. Nice. All right. Excellent. Eleven plus five. Okay, Yahtzee. and you're doing the one right in front of you, right? The one that killed Carl. Yeah, the one that killed Carl. Regardless okay. of where it is. <laughs> It'd be yeah, weird if you just yelled at one and then shot the other. <laughs> uh, no, it's it. the damage is not plus five. It's just 11 damage because oh. it's a 1d12 damage. Uh, okay. Oh, the, the, the spell ten, attack then. plus thing is just to like see how good you do to it. To hit it, yeah. yeah. Okay. The poison spray mists onto the cube and unlike before when it sort of dissipated it appears to stick to the cube surface and you see as it slowly burns away and just a bunch of ooze sloughs off the top of this cube and Bridget you are up <laughs> Jesus you're it's making not up so many verbs done yet slough is no. a verb I they think have like sloth. 84 hit points <laughs> 84 hit points Supporting yeah they're big group. old boys yeah. Jesus Christ okay and, and all I'm going to be toe. doing is hitting them with poison spray over and over again. So yeah, that's you okay. Guys are... Poison spray is awesome. That's like, <laughs> or 
maybe your teammates will get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, which is actually what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to run <laughs> over to the one that, uh, is it possible for me to run? Oh, will it get an attack of opportunity if I run over to the other one and disengage right now? It will not because it is engaged with Snedrick. You burst through its back. So it is It is engaged with Snedrick, not with you. All right, I'm going to run around to the other one and uh, Warhammer that sucker. Nice. Do it. Uh, and that is a 16 to hit. That'll do it. Excellent. Um, yes, and so I'm going to do eight damage. Ooh, eight damage. All right. And that's the one near Dave, correct? I. All right. Boom. The one containing Sammy. It no longer contains Sammy because Dave knocked her out with his scorching ray. Yeah, nobody's oh. contained in anyone, any of the blobs yeah. right now. Oh, and phenomenal. anymore. Yeah. All right. As a bonus uh, action, Gillette you can throw my pebble at something if you want. I have three uh, floating uh, around. Can I pick up and throw a pebble as a bonus action? Yep. No. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's not underneath uh, under action. It's a, th that's a bonus action. Nope. No, your your bonus action is imbuing them with magic. Yeah. It doesn't make everything to do with those pebbles a bonus action. I feel action. like it does. It's under the bonus <laughs> action column. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately. No. Sadly, now the cube that is in front of Snedrick is going to try to envelop you. It needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah, the sanctuary thing. It is uh, yep, wisdom, wisdom has to be a thirteen. Nope, absolutely. So it's it it lurches towards Snedrick, but there's sort of a wave as it strikes an invisible force and lurches towards Claw who is behind it instead. So, Claw, roll a dexterity saving throw for me. So, 20? Yes, please. Two plus three. Oh, you are snatched inside. <laughs> God damn. This cube. <laughs> Again. But you're in it. You're at least in it. No, it's the same one, too, isn't it? Damn. It is the yeah. same one. It's just got to... Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, this it's is not. the one that no, had Carl. Not. Yeah. This oh, is he's... he's he switched out cubes now. <laughs> yeah. And you take 13 points of damage and I'm are dead. knocked on you are knocked unconscious. You're not dead, sure. but you are knocked unconscious. It's okay. I'll I'll spare the dying. Oh yeah, no, it seems okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was that's turn. I love that like the defensive <laughs> spell that Bridget used on me just like fucked him instead, right? Like this is <laughs> it's like I'm gonna cast a spell because that that fucks Claw later. <laughs> Wait. Well, you know, you're you're nice and sanctified. Okay. Uh yes, yeah. Morgan, roll your first ever death saving throw for me. So uh quick reminder, uh above a 10, that's a success. Below a 10, that is a failure. Three successes, you are unconscious but stable. Uh, three failures, and Claw is dead forever. So everybody gang up on this guy, or else we might lose the bird. <laughs> uh -oh. 11. 11. That's a success. Phenomenal. All right. Dave, you're up next. All right. Guys, what do you think? I Should, should I witch bolt, or should I take out my blunderbuss Ooh, and shoot it? How much damage does the blunderbuss do? 2d8. Witch bolt is 2d12, so obviously the second one. Is that basically... Yeah. If you, How many spell slots do you have left? A witch bolt's a cantrip, I think. No, it is not. Is it not? It's not. It's not. Powerful for a cantrip. Yeah. He's got one spell slot left. So you want to use your other spell slot as opposed to just using a freaking Eldritch Blast, which would be a D10? I feel like I already, I feel like I already did that, and uh, I just want to mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the blunderbuss. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <sighs> okay, so Heath, at the very yes. beginning of this venture, months and months ago, when you insisted on getting a blunderbuss. So would you read everyone the description for the blunderbuss so they know how this works? Firearms are a new and volatile technology and as such bring their own unique set of weapon properties. Some properties are followed by a number and this number signifies an element of that property outlined below. These properties replace the optional ones presented in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Firearms are ranged weapons. To reload, the weapon can be fired a number of times equal to its reload score before I must spend one attack or one action to reload. All right. And what is your reload score? I don't know. It's right there under properties. It's one. Yeah, it's I was going to say one. it's a blunderbuss. I would assume it's yeah. one. 
So you get to shoot it once, and then yep. you would have to spend an action to reload it before you could shoot it again. But tell everyone about misfire. Whenever you make an attack roll with a firearm, and the dice roll is equal to or lower than the weapon's misfire score, the weapon misfires. Which in this case is two. So uh, I imagine I will roll higher than a two. Yeah, but if you don't, but if I don't, the attack misses and the weapon cannot be used again until I spend an action to try to repair it. To repair it, I must make a successful Tinker's Tools check. Mm -hmm. DC equal to eight plus misfire score. I don't know what any of this means. If your check fails, <laughs> the weapon is broken and must be mended out of combat at a quarter of the cost of the firearm. I got it for free, though, so a quarter of that would be zero. Creatures who use a firearm without being proficient increase the weapon's misfire score by one, but I am proficient. Um, it's explosive. Upon a hit, everything within five feet of the target must make a dexterity saving throw. DC equal to eight plus your proficiency, proficiency bonus plus your dexterity modifier or suffer 1d8 fire damage. This seems super great compared to fucking Eldritch Blast. <laughs> that would be you and Bridget would both need to make a dexterity saving throw in that case. What? Mm, I'm going to Eldritch Blast the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The one right in front of you? Yep. yep. Yes, you are. Go. All right. Do it. Roll that dice for me. The D20. Correct. Is that the one with uh 14. With the, the bird in it? Plus five. 19. That'll hit. Roll that D10. No, the other one has claw in it. Okay. That's an eighter. That's an eight plus three. Eleven damage. All right. If you don't no. start helping me with this one, we may lose the bird friend. Hey, everybody, just jumping in real quick to thank you for listening to the show. Uh, if you're enjoying the show, why not head over to the Twitter and tell some people about it or get on the Facebook or maybe write a nice handwritten calling card letter that recommends our podcast and gently place it into the home of someone you don't know. Don't do that. That's breaking and entering. Either way, uh, if you're enjoying the show, please tell folks about it. If you love the show and you want even more stuff, why not consider supporting us on Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash DND minus. Uh, we've got a little bonus episode there we did of uh, Lasers and Feelings, which was a ton of fun. I also did a Dungeon Masters AMA. Uh, which I'm going to do another one soon. And you get access to all of that for as little as a dollar an episode over at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus. All right, I'll let you get back to the show. All right, the gelatinous cube in front of you is going to lift its pseudopod and try and slap it down on you once again, Dave. I moved uh, pretty far away before I did that Eldritch Blast. Uh, it would just follow you. It would. Uh, also, you were engaged with it, so if you tried to move away, you would take an attack of opportunity. You trust me, you don't want to try and move. Do you want to try and move away? Because then it, it gets to attack you no matter Who what. Who said I moved away? You just now <laughs> with your mouth <laughs> <laughs> on, on no. tape. I was just faking. Record it. <laughs> I was just joking it's around. A, it's, a ver it's a verbal. This cube takes verbal, everything so seriously. Verbal pump fake, and just to throw him off, and now I just shot Your him cube? for a, a bunch right. of damage. It rolls a 13. Yeah, so it'll hit you, and you're going to take eight damage, Dave. Mm. <laughs> I'll decide whether I take eight damage. <laughs> you seem All so right. confident. <laughs> so, now, Noah, you have a single cube with no allies around yeah. sitting right in front of you. Is it the one that has claw yeah. in it? Yeah. It does, but he is safely inside said cube. <laughs> All right. Now, here's the question, though. Where is the other cube in, in terms of, like, so, like, if I do a kick-ass dive roll, for example. Right. Can I put myself in a position where both cubes are within 15 feet of me without getting Bridget or Dave in I'm there? I'm on the other side of the cube. Or Sammy. From you, so. I mean, I'm really, I'm uh, okay hitting Sammy at this point. Yeah. You know, Sammy hasn't done shit. No. She's uh, unconscious on the floor. Right. So, yeah, fuck her. <laughs> 
All right. She's I'm trying to picture. Oh, have you, she just is she, she just gets okay, electrocuted. Sorry, I think I missed that part. She's unconscious. Okay. Does she need like spare the dying or has she been doing saving throws this whole time? She has been doing saving throws and she passed them, so I didn't feel All like right, bothering cool, cool, cool. you guys. Never mind. Them. Never mind. We're good. She rolled a she rolled a natural twenty on her second one. And so right. she's sitting well, there with lucky one hit her. Point. <laughs> hey, I'm coming for you, you dumb bird. <laughs> So let's see. It has to do a constitution saving throw again. That is correct. All right. Yeah. All right. So you're going to, you're just going to blast this one in front of you. I reckon. Yeah. You pull out the wand of seven parts. Wait, Thank actually, God. before I start doing yeah. flavor text, let me make sure yeah. this cube doesn't fucking <laughs> make this stupid ass constitution saving throw. It does not. So you pull Thank out God. this <laughs> wand. You pull out the wand of seven parts and a gale force wind erupts from the tip, blasting claw free <laughs> of the cube and tearing huge chunks of slime away from it. I, and I think if I'm not mistaken, I believe I just knocked a uh, Dave's pebbles all the fuck over the place too. So sorry about you did. that. It'll be really hard <laughs> you to also, find them later. You also knocked his pebbles around. All right. Uh, roll three d eight for me. That's going to be a total of thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, all right. Good hit. Good hit. Uh, back to the top of the order, Bridget. So it did not die. It did not, it did not die. die. So I am going mm. to. Hmm. Uh, I don't suppose I could cast Thunder Wave on it, too. You can cast Thunder Wave. <laughs> Claws just getting blown around. <laughs> you know what? If I'm going to do that, I might as well just do Inflict Wounds. 3D10. How, oh wait, how is it looking? They both look pretty rough. All right, cool. Then I'm going to go uh, save our friend. I'm going to go spare the dying our friend. Oh, nice. Um, cool. You sure you so, don't want to kill one of them? I love you're always so surprised that someone <laughs> wants to not like see you die, man. I like more. That's so sad. Morgan's always like, are you sure you want to save just, me? I think it I, might be easy to do like three saving throws. <laughs> uh, qu question. Question. Yeah. If I now this is to Morgan out of mm -hmm. character. If I do save you, will you promise to fucking use your attacks and not try any dumb <laughs> shit? I was. No, I was trying before. I just rolled Yeah, Morgan one and was a attacking. Two. Okay. All right. I just rolled case. terribly. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, you can save me and I can still roll terribly. It's up to you. <laughs> well, I mean, to like in his defense, to a certain degree, we pulled him out of one and threw him into the other. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then you blew me across the cave. <laughs> Yeah, hundred right. percent. Morgan's gonna try to steal the like slime robes off a of slime cube <laughs> on his next turn. Um, there's like a feather within one. I'm gonna try and steal it back. Uh, in that case, I am going to attack a a creature, a, a slime creature. There you go. Okay, so you're not running over to. Claw? I'm not gonna run over to Claw. I am going to, um, attack the one right in front of me because Claw's obviously in no danger anymore. Um, Do it with my war hammer. Do it. Oh, God. Interference. Uh, that there was is... an interference on your roll? <laughs> yeah, it almost went off the table, so I had to like catch it with my hand, and then it was like, you know, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she rolled so vigorously. <laughs> she interferes um... on me. I'm calling it on me. I was telling <laughs> There's also another term where it's like cocked. Yeah, the problem here is though, Anna, is that now that you've put that in Heath's head, he's just gonna smack <laughs> one he doesn't like off of his table. It's gonna come up as a seven. He's just gonna knock it down. He'd be like, interference. I gotta go find that one. Hold on. <laughs> interference. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was a seven to hit. That'll hit. That will hit. Okay, cool. I've done that before. Nice. Um, in that case, uh that's that's four. Four damage. Four plus two, or is uh, that two nope. plus two? That's two plus two because Oof. fuck everything. You smash the shit out of that corner, though. You really get the corner of that cube. <laughs> you show it what fur. Another chunk falls off. Does it just reform into a smaller cube every time we knock stuff out of it? No, it's got like chunks missing. Okay. As a bonus action, I'd like to heal. Mm. Let's see. Healing word. How many people can I heal with this thing? Um, I'd like to heal Claw for 
for seven. Claw, you have seven hit points. Don't I need to be revived? Because I don't have one hit point. I, I'm like... I think you can heal unconscious creatures. Yeah, I can heal unconscious and then creatures. I'm, and then I'm awake? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So I have six now? How many hit points seven. did you heal him for? Seven. Seven? seven? So, Claw, your body crackles with blue lightning. You hear a pirate's laughter in your ears, and you leap to your feet with seven hit points. Hey. And you are back in the game. All right. So that cube, which just got blown back by Snedrick, it's definitely going to try and attack you again. But you have Sanctuary, so it has to make a wisdom saving throw of 13. Is that right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then it'll just attack me again. Yeah. And it does. So it is going to try to slap you with a goo arm. Uh, nine? <laughs> uh, no, it will miss. It will miss. So it's it's blown back. It fights its way through Bridget's spell. You sort of see a magical aura smash as it pushes towards you, and it slaps next to you and then sort of looks dejectedly <laughs> down in, in as much as... Gelatinous cubes can, can look it can look <laughs> dejectedly down. I, I right. feel like a Disney artist could pull that off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they are optioning our podcast, by the way. We've had some good talks. Good, so good. But everyone be phenomenal. ready. Yeah. Uh Claw, it's your turn. All right. Uh I'm just gonna try. I hate and... to put you back to work so soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's try a quarter staff hit. All right. And then would I get a bonus unarmed strike as well? Yes, you do, I believe. All right, so 2d20. 11 and 9. Uh, do I add anything to those? Uh, let me check. Uh, yeah, so that's an 11. The, the quarter staff was the 11? Yeah. Uh, that's plus 5 for both of them. So yeah, th those will both hit. So your quarter staff, you're going to roll a d6 for me, and for your unarmed strike, you're going to roll a d4. So the D6 was a five. Five plus three, that's eight. And the D4 was a one. Okay, so that's eight. And one plus three is four. Boom. All right. Slime flying everywhere. Dave, you are up. You have a giant cube in front of you looking rough. And there is a, a barely a cube. It is mostly chunks at this point, but it's steadfastly slogging towards Snedrick as it does. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I am going to witch bolt the one in front of me. Nice. Do it. Roll that d20 for me. All Thanks, right. Dave. <laughs> that is a 16 plus five. That'll hit. Two d12 for me. D12 is now. That is nice. An 11 and an 11. Oh, 22. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta be dead, right? No, but it also what? is now a Aww. small yeah, man. puddle of cube Fine. on the ground. Now, I'm so happy to say this. The cube in front of you, Dave, it goes to attack you, but because Bridget is flanking it, I believe, Bridget, you get a <gasps> attack of opportunity, don't you? Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. I'm going to attack. Do I have to roll for that or I just, just get it? Also, uh, I do have to roll for that. Well, right before this happens, bonus action, I make uh, three more rocks fly around mm. if you want to use those. Yep. Th three Fun. more pebbles at your feet. Got it. Excellent. It's really a morale booster. <laughs> <laughs> Six to hit. Six to hit. That will hit. Oh, thank God. All the right. The stones represent the three other ones besides Dave. The three other yeah, ones. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's D8 be... plus two. The three times you've died in our fight. <laughs> That's a five. They're my three yep. saving throws every time. Yeah, I yeah fail right. All right. <laughs> so, Dave, it's uh, it is taking its stack of opportunity. It's going to come for you. It's going to roll like sh I'll tell you, these cubes good at the saving throws. It slaps. It slaps down next to you, and then you see the fo the slime form where it slapped down. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> and Snedrick, you got a cube in front of you. You got claw on the other side of that cube. Thunderwave it. <laughs> no, I'll do. I'm going to do the poison <laughs> spray again on it. All right. See if I can make that that saving throw poison three spray. times in a row on me. That's a Constitution saving throw of thirteen. Yes, yeah. Uh, right. 
And it does make oh natural twenty. I don't that doesn't mean anything. Jesus. But yeah, once again the mist goes over the cube, but it just sort of shakes it, it up. Backflips over yeah. it. Yeah. There's a really big pool of poison at the back of this cave that we need to keep in mind. <laughs> that you guys are gonna in. <laughs> have to deal with. Yeah, so like if anybody's following us or, or anything, they're gonna be like, well, they left a lot of poison and some magic pebbles around here. That's what they must have been through. <laughs> hey, we're here. Are I these breadcrumbs? The what is this? What is happening? <laughs> uh, Dave, roll a perception check for me. Uh, D20? Yes, please. That's 13. On the ground. Plus one. On the ground. Behind I, the cube. It's still on the ground? Yep. That Snedrick is fighting. You heard the plus one? You see the faint outline of Carl. It's not Carl, but you see a faint outline of Carl on the ground behind him. I feel like it's Carl. And uh, Bridget, it is back to you. <gasps> okay. Well then, there's one in front of me. Correct. And I don't have a lot to do. Uh, Use the stones. They both... <laughs> Use no, them. I, there's there's I'm literally... Stupid, I am the... I used it. You know, ask Claude to use, throw shit. Claude, you're going to use the stones. Um, I will now. I, Thank you. <laughs> uh, he's way the fuck over the other side of the room, too. Um, God. I While this is happening, I float the stones toward Claude. I no, you don't. Pick up my they, like a bat. To do. They, none, of that, <laughs> none of that happens. You can't. <laughs> I you do can't the Yeah, your hey, okay, yeah. We spoke it into existence. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> I'm going to use a melee spell attack. Yeah, I'm going to use inflict wounds, which right. requires me to touch it, though. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, it worked well for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, that's going to be a. Uh, it, it hits it. It's an 18. Nice. That'll hit. Yep. All right. So that's going to be 19. 19. Okay. 19. All of a sudden, as you touch this cube, you see it's like an invisible sword starts to slice the cube apart. And it just keeps slicing and slicing until it's just entirely dissolved. And the cube in front of you, in between you and Dave, is no more. Yes. It's like, have you ever seen like a Japanese guy go at a tofu it cube? Is. It's like that. I want you to know that the way I touched it, I just like, I just touched it barely with my middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'd like everyone to Google that before you think that Noah's racist. <laughs> they the do the little thing they they do with, 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 with over and over again. Oh, whole, dude, that's it's really so, impressive. That's, yeah, it's, 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 very, it's like, it's it's like cool. watching a fucking stockbroker work a, a, a newspaper one handed on the subway, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> sure. Same. All right. We're so uh, old. <laughs> <laughs> Snedrick, if you want to take off your green tinted little visor thing, uh, it is your turn. All right. So we've got one left. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to hit him. It's not, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but I'm probably going to hit him instead of throwing poison around that's not doing shit. <laughs> um, I'm going to use my ray of frost. <laughs> sure. Um, so I have to do a ranged spell attack. Uh-huh. Uh, 19 plus 5. I think I'm going to hit him. Yeah, that'll hit. Roll a d8 for me. 5. That's nothing. All right, so that's 5 damage. Boom. Bridget, back to the top of the order. This cube is barely held together. There's slime everywhere. Wait. Didn't I just yeah. go? Yeah, she just went. Oh, right, because there's literally everybody's passed out at this point. No, no when did Claw go? Oh, no, I skipped over um, Snedrick, is what I did. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Claw, did you oh, go? Oh, right, so then she just went out of turn? She went out of turn, so now it's the cube's yeah. turn. Okay. All right. The cube is going to feebly, it can barely form a pseudopod, but it's going to take a swing at you, uh, and it does. It, it, it uses the last of its flesh to gently wave itself at you and it hits you, Snedrick, for nine damage. Ouch. Fuck. Uh, and Claw. Your uh, turn. Let's just do another It just it just bitch slapped Snedrick. Let's do another quarter stuff. Quarter staff and an arm strike. 
You go said you were going to hit the. You said those. you were going to hit the magic stones with the quarter staff, like a bat, like a baseball bat. <laughs> but Eli wouldn't let you flip them over to me. I'll throw. I do you that can't now. Tele- you can't telekinetically them. control the stones. Nope. You don't. It's not your turn. Can't throw them. Wait, isn't it possible that in the thunder thunder wave, some of the stones flew over? To I, would where? I mean, that is the direction they would have flown. That's right over to where Claw and they would actually. have flown that way. Yes. Do it. Do you have? I have do you no have idea any, like, how I would do that. What well, am I? Does he have any like throwing things? These stones. As a monk, I'm gonna play it safe. <laughs> All right, that's fair. <laughs> that is so unlike you, Claw. And come back to life. <laughs> <laughs> Been inside two gelatinous cubes and a pool Not in a of good poison. Way. I'm just gonna play it safe. <laughs> Roll those two d twenty uh, for so me. So the quarter staff is a ten plus five. And the unarmed strike is a six plus five. Fantastic. Roll a D6 for me. Oh, the second one didn't hit? Oh, no, they both hit. So D6 and a D4. D6 was a two plus three. That's five damage. And the D4 was a four plus three. That will just do it. Should have hit the stones. I loosened the lid on him. (laughs) What it's worth. And... The last goo of this cube is spread across the floor as you have defeated the second toe jam. Nice. Dave, you look behind as Claw sort of smashes the last goo out of the way and you see the faint outline of Carl who beckons you over. Okay, I'm obviously going over to Carl now. <laughs> okay. He, he's sort of Who you want, buddy? Who you and want? wispy. And he reaches out his hand to you and he says, I'll see you at sunrise, asshole. <laughs> and then he vanishes. Okay. <laughs> Love that dude. <laughs> Love that dude. All right. You have defeated the two gelatinous oozes. Uh, Sammy is stable in the corner. That seems like a good place I'd to like stop. I'd like to fire yeah? my blunderbuss as a yeah. celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Roll a Got d20. It. Explodes in his fucking hand. It One. is a four. <laughs> Wonderful. You fire and uh, Bridget make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, that will be a 16. Yeah. So so Dave fires a blunderbuss. It explodes, but luckily you dive out of the way as the bullets go flying all over the room. Yeah, uh, that's fun because I'm going to smack the shit out of him after that. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. And We're we, going to end on a slap fight. <laughs> exactly. The camera pans out on a slap fight between Bridget and Dave. <laughs> The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2020. All rights reserved.